Bitcoin suffers a healthy pullback? In reality, it's just coin market cap making it look worse than it actually is. Looking at the daily candles, you can see here Bitcoin peaked at over 5,300, but in reality, that was for about four hours, if not even less than that. So if it registers that price and then we come down a little bit, it's like, boom, 10% losses. Whoa, scary. Looking at the four hour, you can see things are still quite good. If a short term pullback is on the cards, 4,600 is expected. And if it's going to be a deeper correction than that, then we're hoping for support levels to be anywhere from 42 to 4,400. It is tough for Bitcoin to kick on from here. I must admit, looking at the 14 day relative strength index wasn't painting a good picture. The most overbought conditions seen for Bitcoin since December 2017, not December 2018 when Bitcoin rallied. No, the bull run. <laughs> That's crazy, if not a, a little frustrating. But let me drop a bomb on all of you right now. Technical analysts are mixed about the short-term outlook on Bitcoin. Crazy. One bullish indicator is the 200-day moving average. Historically speaking, Bitcoin is in a good time if it is over it, and it was for a very, very long time. As soon as it dipped below it, things were not going very, very well. But here we are above it for the first time since summer 2018. Based on Bitcoin's trading history, a move above the 200 day for Bitcoin is meaningful statistically. When Bitcoin is above its 200 day, its win ratio is 80% compared to a mere 36% when it is below its 200 day. Moreover, if the analysis comes to fruition, Bitcoin holders, those who hold their Bitcoin through thick or thin, can expect triple digit returns and six months forward returns average 193% compared to a measly 10% when it is below its 200 day. Hence, being above is a big deal. So I guess what we're trying to say is be prepared for anything to happen. The altcoin market is a little bit quiet at the moment. If uh, XRP is not late to the party, I thought that if things remain as they are, it would still be extremely positive for the altcoin markets because Bitcoin dominance, even one to 2% shaving off it, results in huge gains for alts. However, one thing that I did notice, Bitcoin dominance has not fallen below 50.0 in a very, very long time. Looking at the three month chart for Bitcoin dominance here, the lowest it ever got within the last three months is 50.08 before shooting back up again to almost 52. I would assume this is just coincidental because there are different websites which track Bitcoin's dominance differently. However, this has been eerily correct this entire time. Support has been at 50%. So unless the market cap goes up, unless we get some new money, or unless the trend changes, the altcoin markets might pause for a moment. Either way, if we do end up going sideways at these price levels, I'm very happy. I will take it. Just a quick update for me today. I'm actually needing to go and travel to London today because my cousin is getting married tomorrow. Pretty excited about it, except I need to give a speech. Getting a microphone with loads of people listening, a little bit scary. Still, I may have a meme review dropping tomorrow, hopefully. Depends if I can <laughs> edit it quickly. You guys want to see my gym? It's almost done. All right, so that's the desk. I know I need to clean. I got a rug in here. And then got a tree, a boxing bag, a cupboard over there, really big treadmill, and a mirror. All right, that's it for me. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you again very soon, hopefully.